Still on FOCAC, education has been one of the main points of the forum. Two master students from Beijing Jiao Tong University talked to CGTN reporter Liu Yang about their thoughts on the forum and their experiences in China. Majoring in Master of Transportation Railway, Nordin from Algeria says it was his interest in China that brought him here. Being in China for a year, Michael from Uganda is studying for his master's degree in urban planning and design. It's a two-year program with a full scholarship and 3,000 RMB monthly allowance. They say studying in China has allowed them to experience the country, gaining knowledge and making friends from around the world. The Chinese relationship is very strong, but after this form, it will be more than stronger than, than before. Now, we need something for the developer our country, and China help us. So, I just say thank you, China, for help us. I think uh, China African cooperation has created a platform for discussion of various issues that would lead to improvement in. Uh, regional and intercontinental cooperation. It will bring up more development in other sectors, say infrastructure and information-wise, creating a big data site. China-Africa Forum concluded with a declaration on building a community with a shared future. The Beijing Declaration crystallized the consensus of China and Africa on current major international and regional issues, and it sent the world a strong signal of the two sides going forward hand in hand. During a forum on China-Africa cooperation, Chinese President Xi Jinping said China will implement eight major initiatives with African nations in the next three years and beyond, covering fields such as industrial promotion and infrastructure connectivity. Regarding educational cooperation, he says China will set up 10 Luban workshops in Africa to offer vocational training for young Africans, as well as provide Africa with 50,000 government scholarships and invite 2,000 African youth to visit China for exchanges. In addition, the declaration says China will launch a people-to-people -people exchange initiative. China decided to establish an Institute of African Studies to enhance exchanges on civilization. Qualified African educational institutions are welcome to host the Confucius Institutes. During the forum, we saw Chinese and African leaders reach agreements on major issues. The meeting was a great success, especially in agreeing to build the China and African media network. We have a long time good relationship with our African colleagues, and together we'll explore new cooperation platforms and patterns through our China African Cooperation Media Network and continue to tell good stories about China and African countries. Experts say in the past decade, more than 50,000 African students have studied in China, 54 Confucius Institutes, mainly in universities, and about 30 Confucius classrooms set up in elementary and high schools have been opened in 41 African nations. Liu Yang, CGTN, Beijing.